Let's move on because we have a lot to get into today and I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And we begin, of course, where else? The Lakers. Rookie D'Angelo Russell has become persona non grata in his own locker room after secretly videotaping a conversation with his teammate, Nick Young. ESPN's Mark Stein and Baxter Holmes reported this. The video, in which Russell questions Young about his relationship with women, found its way onto social media last week. Now, sources say Russell, the number two overall pick in last year's draft, is being shunned by his teammates, and the rift is said to have played a part in Monday's 48-point loss, the worst defeat in Lakers history. Stephen A., what kind of damage will this do to Russell's career? Irreparable damage. He'll never be trusted ever again in the NBA. This will stay with him for the rest of his career. Could he potentially go on and play? Sure. He's got to elevate his level of play. He's got to average more than 13 points a game. He's got to average more than 3.4 assists per game. He's got to shoot better than 41% from the field. There's no question about it, but if there was ever a priority placed on his career in terms of him needing to elevate himself to superstar status, it would be right now because that's about the only thing that will make you want to be around him. Let me put this in its proper perspective for the American public to stomach. I am a reporter, and even I don't want to talk to him. I mean, you got to be kidding me. I mean, to sit up there and, 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 and ex exercise that level of a violation. Now, I understand everybody talking about it's not a man code. It's, it's a everybody code because women have certain codes. Well, damn it, I'm a man. I'm only talking for yeah. me. Molly, you can feel free to speak for the women anytime you want to. Well, as, a man, as a man, you don't do that. Under no circumstances do you infiltrate yourself into somebody else's business and, and, and discuss or reveal their private personal affairs, particularly when it comes to women. You turn the other way, you didn't see, you saw no evil, you heard no evil, you know no evil, shut the hell up, mind yep. your business, step off and move on. And I don't wanna hear all of this stuff about youth, okay? He's 20 years old, you're 13 years old, you know better. You're 10 years old, you know better. I don't care how young you are. You The, the second you get a, a, a scintilla of sense, you know not to do this. So the fact that he would do this just shows that he is completely untrustworthy, incredibly immature. It was a juvenile punkish mood of the highest order. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those situations where, you know what? If this brother came and asked you for a cup of coffee, you looking for a tape recorder or a cell phone, what are you doing? You ask any question, why are you asking me that for? Are you wired? There you go. Uh, we're wired. We're wired, wired on national yeah. television. Otherwise, yeah. America wouldn't right. hear us. There is no excuse on God's green earth for him to do what he did. And by the way, this is not applicable just to sports. The world over, it's not a national issue. It's global. It's not a sports issue. It's every issue. It's a man mm -hmm. issue. It could be a woman a issue. Woman issue That's right. I'm not a woman. That's yes. why I'm asking. I'm telling That's you, as a, it's as not a okay man, regardless of your it's yeah. not okay. Fine. As a man, I'm telling you right now, this is one of the, the only violation that's greater than this is actually getting with somebody's wife. That's the only violation yep. that's greater than this. Or girlfriend. When it comes, well, okay, I'm just no, saying, I, I got but, but, but I especially got the wife, sure. especially the wife. No, I'm, I'm just saying, that's the only violation greater than this. From what I see, I've seen of D'Angelo Russell as a person and what I heard about him, relatively nice guy, I guess. You cannot trust this young man after this. This is one of those situations where the Lakers got to contemplate trading him. This is one of those situations where his agent needs to contemplate dropping him so he doesn't lose other clients. I mean, the money he may have ended up costing himself just because of this. Yep. This is how bad this is. You do not do what this man did <sighs> under no circumstances. Right. It's, 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 it's as egregious as it gets. Yep. I agree. This is the one locker room line, male or female, yep. you do not cross. You, you can't come back from across this line. Not at all. 
the bridge is not just on fire. I'm pretty sure it's burned to the ground because I'm going to remind you of the position this young man plays. He is allegedly the point guard of the Los Angeles Lakers. He is the future leader of the Los Angeles Lakers, and I put that in quotes. He is the quarterback of the offense, and if you can explain to me, we'll get into this a little bit later, how he's only averaging 3.4 yes. assists after everybody well, raved can, about his no, vision. That, that's a simple explanation. Well, None of them can shoot. Yeah. That's all. Okay, but, but all right. still, all right. if he's what they were raving about, remember they would tell you, oh, his, his vision, because I kept saying I question him athletically. He's three steps yeah, ahead of everybody else. He's seeing else. things no one can see. I, I ain't seeing that It's yet. a little knock okay? knee. I, I agree. Knee injuries agree. could eventually okay. come okay. into so play. So here we go. Yeah. Okay, now back to this. Trust me, I am not trying to defend what he did, but I want to get more to the bottom of it with the information we have at our fingertips at this moment. We have not heard from D'Angelo yet. I'm going to assume that sometime today or tonight, will he have to speak to this? Will he run from it? I don't know, but maybe something he would tell us would open our eyes somewhat more to, to on the fairness side of, oh, that's what he was thinking. But let me ask you this. As I looked at the video today, they're, they're lying up in a hotel room on, a, on their yeah. beds, it looks like, right. okay? And he's taping, obviously, unbeknownst mm -hmm. to Nick Young, what, what's going back and forth. And they're just having <sighs> guy conversation, just sort of back and forth, back and forth. And then all of a sudden, it's about over, and D'Angelo says, I'm glad you told my video all that. I'm glad you told my video all that as if he was then disclosing that, oh, I've been taping this. And the last line you see in the little snippet of video that's up on the internet right now is Nick Young's, huh? Huh? Video? I, okay, now I go to the Byron Scott quote from about a month ago. Byron Scott said about D'Angelo, he's such a kid. I told him the other day, you're 19, but sometimes I think you're 14. You're saying even a 13-year-old should know. Should a 14-year-old know? that you don't cross this line, I'm with you, okay? Yes, but, but he's acting 14 years of age. Is it possible, as a child of the internet age, that he thinks we all live in reality TV world? You know, like we're all on camera 24-7 and, and that it's sort of fair game to, to make the Lakers part of a reality show video that he's going to post? I don't know. It's crazy, but I'm throwing it out there to get some reaction here. Uh, I just don't know what I'll, his I'll intent is. Okay. I'm very confused by what his intent is here. Okay, because he, he actually declared himself. He, he disclosed at the end, I'm glad you told my video all that as if it's some reality show. And thank you very much for your your honesty here, and now it's time for me to post this. Really? I don't know what transpired after that was announced to Nick Young, but, but then how did this get posted? How did it leak? Did he send it to a friend who leaked? I have no idea. Those did are he... my two questions. All right. What's the yeah. intent and how okay. did this get out? All right. Fire. I don't have that second, that, that first question, what is his intent? Clearly, your intent. I don't give a damn about your intent. No, the fact that right. this is an engaged man. Listen, is he listen. trying to ruin his relationship? What, 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 but that's what I'm trying to tell you. It does not matter. Even if you were just playing around and you didn't have any malice intent, you don't do what he did. That much you know. You understand? Know and so, again, we don't know the answers to the questions as to once he revealed to Nick Young what happened. How the hell did he get out of the room with that cell phone? I don't know. We don't know the I don't answer. Know. Fair enough. We don't know the answer to that. But let's, be, let's understand something here very, very, very clearly. If you are Nick Young mm -hmm. or any player in that locker room, it doesn't matter what your intent was. What are you doing taping me without my knowing? And number two, what are you doing telling anybody, let alone the rest of the world? What are you doing doing that? It doesn't, and I don't okay, ask, but I don't why ask why like in a, the end did he disclose, thanks for telling my video? Well, that. again, again, he might have thought it was a joke or whatever. It might have been all in fun because we're different, we're different, we're living in a different generation. I, that's the why I the said. generation, that's a hold comment? on, the generation of social media and yeah. beyond, one of the issues that's going on in this world is everybody thinks everybody's business is I, their I got own. It. That's so what we, I said. And that's, yeah. and that's, that's, right. that's problematic. But I'm telling you, even under those circumstances, even under the guise, you know, of, of social, of the advent of social media hovering over all of us in this day and age, trust me when I tell you, there isn't a man alive that doesn't know that's violated. Let me ask you a question. Is it wrong? Am I out of bounds? 
for simply sitting here without the video yeah. or anything else based on what D'Angelo Russell did and looking into the camera and asking D'Angelo Russell, 20 years of age, living in Los Angeles, what you doing, bro? How's your life? You know, who you messing with, okay? Even that question under normal circumstances would be out of bounds. Why? Because you know better. So if you know better, why are you doing that to somebody else? It's inexcusable. I'm saying even if he had the harm, the most harmless, innocuous intent imaginable, there is no excuse for violating that code. It could be a guy that I despise. I see something like that, I turn up, ain't none of my business. None of my business. It's none of my business. Everybody knows that even in this day and age, the man violated Nick Young. Mm -hmm. It is just that simple. Yep. He more than violated him. He set him up. Okay. He didn't just see something. Well, he he basically interviewed the guy. Okay. Get the dirt. Right. Get it on camera. Well, but then it could he, be all well, falls under violation. Yeah. That's well, all well, wait a second. Right. He he came clean in the end. He did not tape him. <laughs> Uh, uh, without his knowledge, because he finally said, thanks for telling my video see, skip, that. See, skip, the fact of the matter is, I would have had a problem with you. I might have been tempted to slap you upside your head just for taping me yeah. without me knowing. Sure. You understand? But the flip side to it is this. The video got out. So, that, so, I don't so, know. So, so, what, funny. Hold on, wait a minute. So once the video gets out, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter what your no, intent with was. You. You, yep. It's the ultimate violation. It's something you cannot allow to happen. And I would be shocked if he found one teammate anywhere yeah. who trusted him again for years to I, come. I would agree. He's got one break going his way. Kobe Bryant, as we all know, is retiring. He's going to finish off his career, and maybe after two days of uproar over this, maybe it will go back burner for a while, but nobody will forget what just happened. No one will ever nobody trust will forget. It. it will be a test. When, you mentioned, when you mentioned D'Angelo Russell, mm -hmm. this is what will come with it. Mm -hmm. Unless, unless the story revealed that it was a complete error and Nick Young has absolutely no problem with it. And by the way, Iggy Azalea's tweet, yeah. uh, when she was talking yeah. about, thanks, you know, yeah. thanks, bro, for letting me up. I don't know how everybody else uh, deciphered that tweet, but that's her thanking D'Angelo Russell for letting her know. That doesn't spell for good news for Nick Young. No. New York. And it's I'm just saying. With that. I'm just saying. I agree with that. So, 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 he did not need to put her business uh, also out so, there. So, 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 so how about how about well. the, but don't let me don't let me don't don't uh, please forgive me if I'm a bit too negative here. But what if Iggy Azalea calls off the engagement since they they're engaged, right? They're, that's his fiance, not just his girlfriend, his fiance. Mm -hmm. What if something what what yeah. if what if the residual impact is something even more negative for Nick Young? Now, that doesn't, you know, uh, we're not going to debate right or wrong, and no. that's his business. But there's no question that D'Angelo Russell is at the hardest. It's a violation. Man, please. Uh, on so many Let's levels. go. Let's move on. Let's, let's go on before I say All something right, else. We're going to stay let's, in the association. What a violation. But, but talk.